Barnet take on Oldham tomorrow. I'm joined by manager Dean Brennan. Dean, how have the preparations been for this one? Yeah, good, a good day of recovery today. Um, and then obviously focused on Oldham. Quick turnaround. Um, another exciting week for us. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge. Fantastic win on Saturday. Is the message just to get that rhythm going, keep the momentum? Um, that's just one game at a time. It's a different game. Um, all of them have been playing very defensive of late. They get a lot of players behind the ball. Um, and on all the shots, to be fair to them, on Saturday, they've got players that can hold you in wide areas. So, um, But they've got a lot of experience, all of them. Um, experienced management team. Um, ex loads of experienced players. They've got a big squad there. Um, we've got an array of talent, so we're going to have to be at our best. Oldham uh, probably not had the season that they wanted this year, but they just had a great win against Chesterfield at the weekend. One loss in five. What sort of threat are you expecting from them tomorrow? Like I say, they've got a lot of players that manage the game really well, a lot of experience. Uh, they've set in the games really well, um, you know, so on a great win the other day for them. They were up against that at times. I watched the Chesterfield game last night and uh, to be fair to them, they dug deep and uh, they threw their bodies on the line and uh, they made blocks and the goalie made saves when he had to because it's a difficult place to go. So, um, probably, I was probably expecting a similar game plan from them really when they come to us. But we've just got to look after ourselves and uh, make sure we start on the front foot. Um, what we did really well the other day um, was we played for 90 minutes, not for 60. So um, that was good for us and uh, more of the same really. It's a relentless division, and we had uh, Harry Smith, who got who's got his sixth goal in six games on Saturday. nicky has got 17 in the same position. We saw Idris score, and Senior came on for him, and then got a goal. Woods also came off the bench, did really well. How how important is it for you to know? And even though we've got these games that are coming every week, the squad depth, and you've got the quality there to come on and back the team. Yeah, it's needed. A few weeks ago, we didn't have that. It's so important. Um, I think we're the two highest goal scorers in the division, to be fair. I'd like us to have more clean sheets, but I put that down to the injury we had in a, in a defensive unit. Uh, we still have no Winter and no Dom Revan available, so that's frustrating for us. Um, and we're still probably looking to recruit in that department as well. Um, I think we can, we can strengthen in that area. But the squad depth is so important at this time of the season. I think we've got eight weeks left, nine weeks left. And then we're Saturday, Tuesday for seven or eight of them, them nine weeks. So yeah, everyone's going to be needed. You just mentioned there about Winter and Reverend. Is there any more update to team news ahead of tomorrow? No, just them. Um, Dom started running. He's back on the grass, which is important. Um, and for Winter, the swelling's starting to come out of his ankle now. So we're hoping Winter to be back for us in sort of three, four weeks. Dom's got a chance in the next two weeks if, if it, everything goes well. Touch wood with a bit of luck. Um, and the sooner we'll be getting back, the better. Dean, thank you for your time.